Another very cool modulator that we can utilize, similar to an LFO, but a little bit different, is the steps modulator. Now, in order for us to really hear the effect of what I'm about to do, I'm gonna deactivate the delay that I added to my FM4 here. And if I play this, now I have a clip with just one sustaining note. So just that. I'm gonna add my steps modulator to this modulation slot right here. And there are steps. I will hit OK. Now right now this looks blank, but if we click this arrow, we can see the inside of it, and this still looks blank. But basically what we can do is we can create steps in different values, and then we can assign this to modulate some parameter, and that parameter will change its values every time we reach the next step. These steps will loop, so as we move forward, let me go ahead and play this. Right now this is set to basically start this whole step sequencer over every time another note is played. And right now this is set to eighth notes. If I turn note off and I can sing into the transport, so then that way it's always gonna start at the beginning every time we press play, but it's not gonna start over every time we trigger a new note. You'll notice that when we get to the end of this, it starts over. So by default, this is gonna loop. We can make this play backwards, basically loop in the opposite direction by clicking this arrow here or simply turn off the loop by clicking this here. Now what I really like about the step modulator is that we can roll the dice over here and randomize what's happening. This is a very quick way to change the way the modulation is being generated. So what I like about this is that we can use this as essentially a step sequencer. And depending on what parameters we're modulating, we can get some very interesting things to happen. So I'm gonna clear this and what I thought would be cool is to assign the steps modulator to the pitch of the FM4 synth. This can go from an octave down to an octave up. So that's my goal. I wanna basically use the steps modulator like a melodic step sequencer to modulate the pitch of my FM4 synth. So let me go ahead and set this back to its default value. And right now we're making it so that this is going to play for 16 steps. And uh, that might be a bit much, but let's just see what happens. So I'm going to assign this to modulate the pitch. I'll click here and I'm going to bring this all the way up. And not too far up though, just plus 12. Let's see how close I can get here and right about there. All right, perfect. All right, so let me get out of this now. Okay, so if I play this, Obviously we hear no change because there's no steps that have been drawn in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just randomize this and let's just hear what happens with the pitch. Now obviously that's random because <laughs> we just randomized the steps. But since I know the minimum and the maximum value of the steps will be either an octave up or an octave down, if I clear this, I can very easily jump from an octave above to an octave below. So let's hear this with the beat now. Now that I like quite a bit. Now keep in mind, we still have a depth parameter here. So at any point, if I want to, I can change how much this is actually modulating the pitch. And then of course we can make this operate more quickly or more slowly by changing the note value and also changing the offset here of the rate. I do like that quite a bit. Now, if we don't want this to start at the very beginning of our step sequencer, which is essentially what this is, we have our phase offset here, so we can start a little bit later or earlier. You know, it's a little bit off there. If we set this to 50%, let me go ahead and hold Command, click, and type 50. Now we should be starting right in the middle, which would mean that we'd start right on the ninth step. 
It actually works pretty well. And of course, we can change the depth to a negative value. But I like where it was at before. Now another thing that's really nice with these modulators, I like this pattern a lot, but maybe I don't always want this to be active. I could right click on the modulator slot and just deactivate it. And then activate it again when I'm ready. It's probably be too much if we bring in our delay with our randomization, but just let's hear for the sake of it. Might be fun to bring that in and out every once in a while. But anyway, this is just one really, really cool way to apply the step modulator to a parameter that's very obvious and will affect something in a cool and rhythmic way. Modulating the pitch with this basically turns the step modulator into a melodic step sequencer.